Hello and welcome, my name is Amanda and today I have for you my plan with me for the week of August 5th through 11th and this week I am using the base um, mini collection planner kit from Simply a Mess. So it comes with four standard sheets and um, I added on glitter headers and then I'm also bringing in some skinny like five millimeter I think um, floating book washi from Creating & Co. This is part of the Hufflepuff set that Paige came out with. So right now I am just starting on kind of um, laying down my glitter header pattern. I decided I didn't want to color block this week just because I like with the Nikki Plus 3 kits not color blocking and I did use a Simply a Mess kit the week before and I color blocked that so I wanted um, just a break. I wanted to switch it up just a tiny bit, but I am going to match the glitter headers with the like background and the full boxes just so um, we don't have color all over the place, I suppose, since these are pretty bold colors. They're not very, it's definitely not a neutral kit. So that's the plan for this week. But right now, like I said, just laying down glitter headers and then I think we'll move on to full boxes in just a moment. So this week, um, I'm using this Beast mini kit this week because um, I am sitting my NEWTs for the Magical Readathon. This is year two of them. And I decided that this year I wanted to go for the Magizoologist career. Um, and pretty much everyone's favorite magic zoologist is Newt Scamander. And this kit I know was released um, back when Fantastic Beasts 1 uh, came out in theaters. But since I think both of them, I know number two came out in November and I don't remember when the, what month the first one came out, but um, I saw number two in theater but I didn't see one in theater so I didn't have a reason to use it but I really like the artwork so I figured I would hold on to it for a little bit and then um basically the whole month of not basically the whole month of April minus the week of Easter I used um simply a mess house kits for Harry Potter and so this month um for August for the NEWTs. I've got um, a Fantastic Beast kit, which is the one I'm using. Also, um, the Crimes of Grindelwald kit. Last week I used a Luna inspired kit, and then I've got two Creating and Co. Um, Ravenclaw house kits that I'm using for the whole month just to kind of help celebrate the readathon that takes place the whole month. So I was a little um, stuck on whether I was going to color block like for glitter headers for the weekend and I decided to kind of make a pattern but not really. Um, so I just used the gold to frame the uh, quote box that says we all have magic inside us and then um, up above my weekly tracker there or weekly checklist. I do have space for two glitter headers so I stack two of the same color on top so that I can put a stack of books over top and that again is just going to be to mark uh, whatever books I start throughout the week. And then my habit trackers for the week are watering my outside flowers and taking our pups for a walk. So it'll be interesting to see what books I am able to start when. Um, this past week, I started four different books, um, and I finished three of them. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how this week holds up. And then I've got some leftover um, gold foiled date dots from a Nikki Plus 3 kit that I just decided to bring in a tad bit more foil and put over top of the um, printed dates that come on this insert. And um, I always link it in my description box, but if you are unaware, I do use the Jacenia printables um, B6TN 
weekly kit. It is the week on three pages plus notes and it's the 2.0 version. And I've pretty much got um, a formula down for how I lay out my week. Excuse me. I like to um, have a glitter header at the top and then my full box is at the bottom and then use the space in the middle to um, lay down the plans I know that I have and then fill in with um, what happened throughout the day that I didn't know was going to happen. So fun fact, um, the Thunderbird is my favorite Fantastic Beast. Um, it's also, if I guess since I'm American, I would go to Ilvermorny versus Hogwarts and that's the house that I've been sorted into, which I think is kind of parallel to Gryffindor. So it's kind of funny because Gryffindor, um, when you take the long quiz, it gives you every single question you could get on Pottermore. Um, and then it gives you percentages of what house you are. Gryffindor is my like dead last. <laughs> so it's interesting that in Ilvermorny, I'm like the Gryffindor equivalent. But I do love the Thunderbird. I think it's such a cool beast. And obviously the Nifflers are fun. Next week, if I remember, I'll tell you what my favorite beast is from um, Crimes of Grindelwald. But right now I'm putting glitter headers over the um, top of the boxes on the weekend in the other notes page. And then um, for the first half of the week, I nix the glitter headers just to save on space. And I, I think right now I am going yep, to run that washi across. So the washi is to mark that my boss is in town this week. Um, our office, um, there's only five of us in the office up in the Seattle area and it's more cost effective to have us all become remote employees. So, um, he's coming up as kind of like a final, um, walkthrough of the office and tying up loose ends, getting rid of the rest of our furniture and making sure it's um, back in good order for uh, closing up the office at the end of this month. So he'll be up this whole week and um, we'll be doing a couple group dinners as well as um, I full-time work from home now, but this week I will be working um, the morning from home and then in the afternoon I will be going into the office and helping him out a little bit. And so just brought in this washi because I wanted to mark off that time um, that he'll be here. Excuse me. And then there are little flight circle icons from this kit. Um, so one I have pointing down because he lands in SeaTac on Monday and then the other is kind of angled up because he leaves SeaTac and heads back to Austin on Friday. And then because my work schedule is a little off, I am using these work labels from a Scribble Prince Co. Um, rack bag that I got in an order a couple of months ago. Um, the old sampler or add-on, whatever it was for Scribble Prince Co. kits, used to have um, five, I think, work labels in it. So I just decided to pull for one for each uh, working day of the week. So I could write that I'm working in office um, half the time. And then I was going to put another purple one down, but because um, I have a yellow glitter header and I did color block these labels, I decided to pull in a yellow, which was, uh, it is kind of a bit loud for the spread, but there's enough gold accents where I think it fits in well enough. Okay. 
So now getting into the day today, um, I did bring in a book stack from the deco portion of the kit and put it down over those two glitter headers atop the um, weekly box there. And then I was just trying to figure out um, how I was going to start marking things. So I am bringing in a yellow flag from the kit and then I'm also going to bring in a champagne gold foiled garbage can from Sticky Sloth Designs that is going to mark that um, our garbage goes out. We actually put our garbage out Monday evening and they pick up Tuesday. And then this next label is to mark that I have a violin lesson. Um, I actually just got an email today, today being Sunday the 4th, that um, my violin teacher came down with a nice little summer cold or food poisoning or something of the sort. So she's postponing our um, back to lesson week until the following week. So I will end up pulling that label up eventually, but the champagne gold foiled music note, um, this time it's on a white background. The trash can is on a clear background, but that is from Sticky Sloth Designs as well. I really like her foiled shop for, um, or her shop for my foiled icons and functional stickers. And then I'm deciding on what half box to bring in for the week or for um, Tuesday to mark that it is happy hour with the um, out of town visitors. So my manager is going to be up as well as um, I'm the only one in our production department that's in the Seattle area. And then we've got the rest that are our client services team. Um, and their boss and their boss's boss <laughs> is coming up as well. So we're all going to go out to a restaurant in town and just kind of do a nice little happy hour um, dinner thing, social activity. And then um, those champagne gold foiled uh, utensils are also from Sticky Sloth Designs. So this next label I'm bringing in on Wednesday is to mark that I have a student mentor call. Um, I am in school right now working on my bachelor's of science in accounting and I talk with my student mentor quite frequently because I am completing my studies and my degree 100% online through WGU. And then there is a champagne gold foiled paperclip that I bet you can't guess where it's from. But um, if you guessed Sticky Slot Designs, you would be 100% correct. And then I'm pulling in another half box because that is going to mark um, the other activity that I think was finally decided uh, Friday uh, that we're going to do with the group before they head out. I'm not sure when the other managers leave, but I know my manager doesn't leave until Friday. And then the flat lay is from Creating in Co. just to mark that on Thursday I like to sit down and film my plan with me. So that's uh, just to mark that chunk of time that I'll be doing that. And then I'm bringing in a quarter box and I think it's black um, which with gold foiled. Um, it's a bow from Nikki plus three. And this is to mark that Maddie Boy goes to Disney World with his mom. It's his first time going to Disney, so we're really excited for him. Um, he did some extra chores during the summer for us so he could have some spending money for Disney, but I'm really looking forward to hearing how his trip goes. So now just pulling in the weekend banner. It's honestly hit or miss whether I remember to pull this thing in. Um, I've kind of been liking not using weekend banners a lot lately, but uh, when I have them, I sometimes <laughs> use them. And then I am going to pull in a checklist flag for the weekend or the extra notes section there. And that is just to mark any happy mail that I have come in throughout the week. And then I've got this, um, I think her name is Melody. 
the redheaded girl, um, but she is wearing uh, Slytherin robes just because they match the kit the best. Um, and she is from a whimsical cat. So like I said, just to mark any happy mail that comes in throughout the week. And then I'm pulling in a flag and a printable um, motor oil sticker that is from Robin Printables, I believe, which is just going to be that I have to check my oil because I do have a slow leak and I just have to stay on top of that. But I haven't quite caught up to myself talking yet. It looks like I was uh, trying to figure out what color flag to use. And then the other flag I'm going to pull in will be to mark that I get my Audible credit and the audiobook sticker I'm pulling in is from Creating Co. as well. So after that, I basically um, lay down some deco and fill everything out with a gold Pilot G2 gel pen. And that really sums up the week right there, at least for the plans that I know so far. So I really hope you enjoyed this plan with me. I would love to know if you are also participating in the newts and if you are, what career are you pursuing? And I will chat with you down in the comments until my next video. Bye.